Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Tech Tuesday episode. And, well, this one's gonna be a, kind of a mixed bag. First of all, before we get into the main portion, as you can see, I got a new uh, dual monitor screen mount kind of thing. Um, brand is Wally, if you're curious, and it's from uh, Amazon. 20, about 27, 28 bucks after taxes, so about $25 for taxes. It's a pretty good deal. Um, on the back here, you may be able to see. Try to swing it back down. Um, there's two pieces of aluminum with uh, two screws up here and three screws down here to hold it, hold it all in place. And I, I did that myself. I'm taking credit for it. You can buy those little adapter things online. I like building things myself, so you know that, that's why I did. Um, when you buy one of these, you obviously get another place for a mount, which this is the. I haven't opened this yet, actually. Might as well do it right now. It's very simple. And this is not what the video is supposed to be about, but you know, it goes on like that. And another great thing about this one is you get a whole bunch of mounting hardware and tools, three tools. So whatever this is for, probably for the base. But, um, all right. Oh, and before I move on, actually, I would suggest using stainless steel screws because you're putting some torque on these and if you put too much it'll break the screws kind of like these screws they're self tappers but you know they're self tapping screws which are nice but uh, they can break easier than stainless steel because stainless steel is str stronger so what this tech tip not tech tip Tech Tuesday video is going to be about is what's well, kind of like a, a tech gadget kind of thing. It is the die hard with voltage. Um, this is a bit basically a battery pack. Um, I don't know exactly how much. It says it's a, obviously a lithium polymer battery, 8,000 milliamp hour. I believe it's at 12 volts, and I'll get to that in a second, the reason for that being. And it says um, 29.6 watt hours. Um, the next part will kind of give reason to it being a 12 volt battery. Cranking current, 400 amps peak, 200 cranking amps, if you can really believe that. This is one of those little jumper packs. So, yeah. Um, how you use it is you need one of these. I believe that's from my other battery pack that I burnt um, doing something else to it. it. It didn't burn out on its own, but you insert it like that and you get that little thing indicating it's got voltage or current or something. I don't know what it's indicating. I think it's indicating it's it's ready or something. You hook this onto your battery and then you can try jumping your car. I assume this like boosts the voltage or the amperage or something or both. I, I've taken this one of these apart before. I think it was this one actually. So, yeah, it's probably this one because this one's not fully together but it's got like some transistors in there is all I can see but anyway this is a nice little party piece you can use it to jump your car if your battery is not totally dead um, yeah. um, if your battery is totally dead then it's not gonna work very well uh, it's got a switch on the side to turn it on says it's at 100%. I don't completely believe that. I've been I used it for some things, so it shouldn't be at 100%, but it's mostly charged. 
according to that. If you hold this button, the light turns on, which is nice. Nice little light. So, 8,000 milliamp hour, or basically 30 watt hours, <clears throat> should be able to charge your phone quite a bit. Um, it's got two ports on the top here. Uh, USB A ports for charging your phone. One says phone, that's at one amp output at five volts. The other one's tablet output at 2.1 amps. And then you can charge this battery pack at, um, it says two amps. <clears throat> so, one thing I bought for this kind of application is, I think it's about five bucks. Five or so dollars. This is a 10, these wires are 10 gauge, I think, which is good for like, what, 30 amps or so? So, probably wouldn't be good to jump start the car, but I should be able to be careful here and not touch them. I should be able to trickle charge um, a battery with this, with this little battery pack. So that'll be interesting. Oh, this is a, a nice connector. It's a, uh, can't remember the type of connector. It's like a W5 something, EW. I'll put a picture up, but um, yeah. So like I said, it's a nice little party pack, party, party trick gadget. <clears throat> that you can jump start your car, you can use it as a light, you can charge your phone or your tablet, or possibly just trickle charge your car. So, there are bigger ones um, that might actually work better if your battery's dead or, or lower on voltage. Um, if you ever add one of these, uh, let me know. Uh, drop, drop a comment. Um, if you ha you like these, you don't know, like them. If, if you like this little video, like it, share, comment, subscribe. If somebody's looking for this, you know, share this video with them. So uh, it's kind of a weird Tech Tuesday episode, but uh, yeah. Um, for this uh, dual mount, I think I'm gonna put a microphone here. I don't know. I don't exactly have another iMac to to put up here, but. Not like that would really fit very well anyway. All right, guys. See you at the next Tech Tip. Tech Tuesday. I gotta stop being Linus. Yeah. Tech Tuesday episode. I'll see you at the next one.